<laughs> What's up, Blue? What's up, Blues? It's your favorite YouTuber, Pink Sports Bra. We're back again with another video. JK, if you're watching my videos for the first time, my name is AVLN and I am in no way a fitness instructor. For those of you that are returning, if you saw my last video, you saw that I spent an entire week running five miles a day, every day for a week. And since I said in that video that I kind of wanted to continue my body fitness goals throughout the month because it's a brand new year, it's a brand new me. <laughs> Since we are continuing our fitness goals, I finally answered the question to that statement. Uh, the I finally answered the question that I stated in my last video. So now I'm thinking, what can we do every day for a week to improve our fitness goals? Hmm. And I thought, hot yoga. Now, you're probably wondering, what is hot yoga? If you haven't heard of it, it's basically regular yoga, but um, it's hot. It's hot as hell in there. Literally hot as hell. For this week's video, I decided to obtain a one week free membership because they do one week free at Core Power Yoga right here in Washington, DC. A little bit about Core Power Yoga. They believe in working every muscle and every emotion, yada, 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 blase, blase, blase. Long story short, they have strength classes, flexibility classes, ranging from beginner yoga to extra special, expert, advanced, handstand, ayahuasca, shimiyavasa type yoga. <laughs> so the thing about core power yoga is that all the rooms are heated to 98 degrees or higher so while you are working your core while you are working on your flexibility and your balance and everything else that yoga has to offer you are sweating a hell of a lot so let's get into today's video if you couldn't tell by my sports bra i already went to my first day of hot yoga and it was should i say hot Definitely wish I could have filmed more, but it was my first day and I didn't want to overstep any boundaries. I kind of wanted to fill out, you know, like how things were, like are they okay with it. Long story short, I could have my phone in there, so I, I, I'm okay. Today's yoga class. Actually, not gonna lie, I am not a huge yoga fan. Like, I like yoga. I've definitely done yoga before, but it's not something that I find, like, extremely engaging. And I am in no way downplaying yoga. Like, I know if I took yoga as seriously as some of the girls in the class did, I would probably be flexible as Literally, I could probably do this. Forward. Maybe stay in here. Maybe Girl, around what? the breath. Jesus. You are. My first class went really, really well. The only thing that I would say that I kind of felt uncomfortable about or kind of was like a drawback of the class, I am not an avid yoga student. So a lot of times they would say certain poses and I would have to kind of look around and be like, oh, Oh, we doing so with our legs. I had no idea pretty much what was going on half the time. And if it wasn't for the people around me, you know, I, I would I would have been completely lost. So there's that. But other than that, class was like extremely easy to follow. I felt like I got a good workout in and I was pouring sweat. like dripping balls. It was crazy. But literally, if I were to film my mat, it was just like beads. Like I was like dripping sweat. Like I was pouring like water out of a cup. That's how bad it was. So with that being said, I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. Day one, baby. We did it. I'm the only one in here right now, but that's not gonna be for long, so I thought I'd film just a little bit. Class starts in about 15 minutes, so I'm just gonna go ahead and check in. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys there. Hi. Okay, so I know that my ring light is literally right above my head, but this is like not a portion that I planned on filming. It's not anything that I wanna like set the scene for. I'm just kinda talking to you guys and I probably won't edit this part because I'm just trying to be 
honest and like transparent about how I'm feeling um, because I want to be honest with you guys. Um, you subscribe, you click this video, so the least I can do is be honest with you. I'm currently halfway into filming. I felt really great last week because I was like losing so much weight and I was running and like, you know, I was eating good. So I guess my problem now is that I don't have as much time to work out and like dedicate towards my meal prep because like if you guys don't already know um, I'm a college student I'm just finding it really hard to go to class and to go to work and to film and to edit and to get my homework done and then still make time for like the gym and my meal prep so I gained I want to say maybe like four pounds of the weight that I lost from the last video and I don't know, I, I, I weigh myself every day and I look at my like facial features and I kind of I kind of compare myself from the day before to the present day. And it's just something that I've noticed that I do a lot that I probably shouldn't do a lot. It's probably not that healthy, uh, mentally healthy to do. Um, I guess the main reason why I'm filming this is because in the last video, I got a lot of comments, not just under the video, but just people reaching out to me, basically saying like, oh, I was so inspired, like, you pushed me to keep going, or like, I started my fitness journey in January, you know, this video kind of made me want to do more, and that made me feel so good. So I've been trying to like push myself because you guys felt so inspired that it inspired me to do more. I don't know, I, I guess I'm just been feeling really down these past couple of days because I'm not losing as much weight as I would like to in yoga. I'm not eating as well as I should. I'm really disappointed in myself and I just feel like, you know, it's only four pounds and I and on paper, it's like, it's only four pounds, but in my head and like the way I see myself, I see it as like 50 pounds. So yeah, it's, gosh, it's, I'm feeling a little discouraged. I'm not gonna lie. So, um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Hopefully when you guys see me next time, I'll be in better spirits, but definitely ready to work out and I'm definitely ready to sweat. So I'll see you guys then. Bye. What's up guys? We are currently at the end of our challenge. I know, I know. You're probably thinking, now AV, what happened to yoga days six and seven? Well, six and seven did not happen. In like the clip before last, um, I was feeling really discouraged because I wasn't losing any weight. I had gained a few pounds back just because I wasn't eating like I should. I wasn't really I wasn't really getting a lot out of yoga in all honesty like yes it was a great workout yes yes I got rid of a lot of water weight because you sweat so much in that class but I'm just used to in my own workout routines I'm just used to like a, a higher caloric burn and that was my main issue with hot yoga like yeah it had a lot of great benefits I saw improved flexibility I saw improved core strength like I got a lot out of it but I was more so in the stage that I, I'm in in my weight loss journey I'm more so focused on burning calories like that's what I'm mainly focused on I feel like once I get to like my goal weight with that then I can kind of start like okay I'm gonna get some core strength I want to tone up I want to be more flexible just like things like that so I kind of felt like because I wasn't eating the way that I should because I was a little stressed out with school and just like everything that I have going on right now and with hot yoga not being as intense as I wanted it to be it just didn't seem worth it to me anymore so i stopped and that's that's the story to it sorry i look so crazy i know my shirt's pretty wrinkled don't pay attention to that that's that's just how it's gonna be so yeah so basically that's what happened um and that's that's the truth that's the tea that's all i got to say about it but I did reap a lot of the benefits of going to yoga just for the five days that I actually did go. I did enjoy it. Shout out to Core Power Yoga. They have some really amazing teachers at the 8th Street location. I highly, highly, highly recommend it if you live in the area or if you live in a city that um, Core Power is offered because I know it's not offered in the entirety of the United States. So yeah, we have one more video, Blues, before the end of our workout series. We are going to be doing high High intensity cardio is that what it's called high intensity training 
cardio. I don't know. We're doing HIIT training next week. So if you guys enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss next week's video. To make sure you don't miss next week's video after you subscribe, if you want to. I don't want to force you, but you should do that. You should hit the bell icon right next to the subscribe button to make sure you don't miss any of my videos because I would hate for y'all to miss next week's. It's gonna be a banger. I am extremely tired because I have to go to the gym tomorrow. You guys stay tight and I'll catch you another late night. Bye. But I've shown you many times, many ways, many smiles, many days. I've shown you how much I need you.